hello my youtube family so if you clicked on this video you are here because you want to know the differences between coach madison and terry birch fleming bag a breaking news is on attention a breaking news is so both beautiful bags um before i start i do just want to start in prayer this came to me when i was putting on my lipstick i'm like i want to incorporate god more in my videos and i'm so thankful for him and i just want to pray that everyone who's watching this video receives your word lord is at peace and knows that everything is in your hands god and well i pray that everyone that who's watching this video continues to have their faith and let that do not allow the enemy to come and destroy your faith be godly people and i pray for patience i pray for happiness i pray for love thank you okay so if you clicked on this video i actually came to an idea with me because i got a comment from someone saying they couldn't decide which handbag now so i do want to bring out a few differences and you make it hopefully i can help you make a decision which um bag you like all right so the first bag that i have gotten was this one the coach pillow madison i got this i want to say august or september of last year so it's going to be about a year now what can i say there's a million videos on this handbag right and i'll start with the price so this is at 4.95 coach always has a sale so i'm sure you can find this cheaper i they don't make this color anymore but um i'm sure you can buy it on poshmark the back pocket there is a back pocket on this one and there are no feet this is the size of the bag the front and the chain does have like a leather intertwined and the way you open and close it is through this piece right and so when you open you turn the lock you open it it gives you this suede lining that has a zipper back here with fabric material all the same color gorgeous um it does still have that leather smell and then in this front pack it has a front packet as well magnetic so a total of one two three slots if you want to count this as a pocket and four for the back napa leather apparently is lambskin leather correct me if i'm wrong but that's what i've heard um absolutely adore this bag there are so many dents there's so many scratches i i i haven't tried to clean it i'm sure if i did i'll probably get a lot of it out of it because this actually cold handbag is um made with excellent leather I, in my opinion i think it's really top notch this collection like the pillow madison collection their new leather the tabby i don't know what that was but for this collection for my personal experience this leather napa leather that they've used for this coach um pillow madison i think it's it's good feels soft it's moldable the more when you first buy if you buy it brand new you'll realize that it's kind of like tight things fit in tight but the more you use it it opens up i mean it's leather it adjusts to your needs it's it's a great bag i do love it i love the color i love everything about it so this one though <laughs> this one makes me feel like bougie like this is the chanel bag that I will probably never, well, I'll never say never, that I'm not gonna get anytime soon. Sorry, my hair. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say never say never, but I should never say, never say never, right? But for now, she is my absolute love. So this one is a little different. There is no back pocket, but it does have like those like diamonds things and then on the top it's that Tory Burch logo the side is suede it has the leather chain intertwined this is gold and black and this one retails for $6.95 so it's $200 more and it opens with this magnetic closure I found maybe because it is just new I do only have this I've only had this bag I, I, it feels like a week now and um, I've been using it every day since so when you open the bag there's a lot more compartments so literally been using this bag every day since so here we have this front 
So here we have this front pocket, which is like thin. Right now I carry like I'm, I carry my pads in there. Um, and it also has these. So there's a lot in this bag. <laughs> All right. Um, smells great by the way. So in it has like this slot, you see. So that's the first first little skinny pocket in the front. Okay, that's where I, I like to just have one of these in handy, you never know. Um, and then this big, the big main compartment uh, has a zip pocket, right? And that's about it. It's just, you know what, let me get all this crap out of here. And then the last pocket is this one, which I absolutely, I we're at a birthday party. I absolutely love this back pocket. It has all of my makeup in there. Oh, birthday party stuff. All of my, not all of it, because I think I took it out, but a bunch of lip products. There's a bunch of lip products in there. So, yeah. Um, I have found that the more I stuff it, it's very hard to like get it closed for it to snap by itself. That's one thing. I find this a con, the way it opens and the way it closes. I think this is a pro, the way it closes and the way it opens. It's just easier to get, it's, it's more manageable this way. This one, if you fill it too much, like you have to like struggle with it. I haven't had it open, actually I'm lying. It did open on me, but I was running and um, filled to capacity. So nothing fell out though, so that's good. I was running, I actually walked to work the other day. 4.2 miles, girl, come on, hey. And um, I was, I had to like cross a big main road. So I ran and it opened, but nothing got out. And right now it's not filled to capacity. So it's it's fine. Um, absolutely love this handbag. If I, can, if I can tell you to pick one, it'll be this one. It's just, ah! so much another thing to compare it to think about is this the strap so as far as how long the strap is I don't know um, let's see so this one let's compare it here do it both at, okay so the Tory Burch one is longer which feels about right and then yes it is much longer so if you are a thicker girl if you're a bigger if you're a thicker girl like me the Tory Tory Burch one is probably will fit you better as crossbody and this strap I actually feel like comfortable on my shoulder like that this one too this one's good too um, so that what that one looks like on me on that side remember this this has nothing in it so maybe it looks a little weird and then this one side to side and then this is what this one looks like i i love it it just reminds me of like a classic chanel bag it really does i'm sorry i know i know it's not chanel but um listen i know it's not chanel but the vibe is there with tori birch i'm sorry 100 percent Another thing, another thing to consider is that this handle is like more quality than this one. This one's heavier. I don't know if you can hear, they hear that difference. And it's not like YSL heavy, like YSL, like you're doing too much YSL. I think this is like a, per again, my opinion, this is like a perfect amount of heavy this is uh, I guess a newer version of the Fleming soft and apparently it's lambskin and it is very soft and I just been obsessed with this bag it's she's she's been my girl and then this one you know I do love I love the color and whatnot but it's not it's more casual like this is like not that this one because this one could be casual too don't get me wrong like this you can like right now I'm wearing sweatpants and like a thermal top you know and, and and I feel nice in it but this is more like playful like I don't know like oh, whatever it's raining or whatever so I want to do the measurements so the Tory 
Tory Birch bag is bigger. Um, I think lengthwise, so this one is nine and a half length and this one's 10.6. So I don't know if you can see that. 